Well, you know, recently there's a debate online that Biggie versus Ice Cube in storytelling. Okay, Big Gip from the Goody Mob brought it up. Now, I, I'm Biggie all the way. I just, you know, come on, New York Biggie. It was a whole movement back in the 90s. But today was a good day. Is one of the high, well most story records, hip hop. I mean, when you think of a story the record, hip-hop. fuck out of here. Niggas bleed puts everything to rest. It's over. Niggas Bleed is the Terrence Crawford versus Ice Cube's Errol Spence. The fuck out of here. When you, and listen, again, I'm from, I'm from New York. You from New York. So I know people going to come up with the, oh, that's just New York bias. Man, fuck that. Listen to the track. The way Biggie tells that story with that melody behind it, that music behind it, the way it builds to a crescendo it literally felt like you was watching a scene that could have been a Martin Scorsese movie. The way he details that, that fucking song and he tells that story, it, it, Ice Cubes, it, that don't even come close. That don't even come close. And listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. Listen, I respect Ice Cube as one of the pioneers of hip hop, especially representing the West Coast. So I ain't shitting on Ice Cube. He's not my cup of tea, man. He's just not my cup of tea. Uh, you know, when you look at uh, lyrical ability, storytelling, uh, metaphors, punchlines, um, just sheer lyric for lyric talent. Like Jay-Z said, New York, home of the spitters. You know, that's New York is known for that. Nas, Jadakiss, Big L, Biggie. Some of the best spitters come out of New York. So, you know, when you look at Nas, when he did a track called Rewind, this nigga rap backwards. I tell people, you know how hard it is to rap forward? That nigga rap backwards and told a story that was totally in sync. You could track it. It was, it was, it all made sense. I don't think there's many MCs today who could do that. That's a whole nother level of ability. And Big and Nas, come on, man. Come on, man. Nah, yo. I got to agree with you on that. I got to agree with you on that. You're, you're you, right. I, I just, and maybe, the, you know, maybe this is a West Coast thing, but let me not relegate it to a West Coast thing. Let me say, I don't, when I listen to, you know, today was a good day, it felt very 80-ish in terms of, remember that when rap first came out, Curtis Blow, that 80s cadence, I went to the tour and the ba 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 Ice Cube's good day was, and I stood and I went and I drove in my car. I got very far, today was a good day. Versus Biggie's again, niggas bleed. So, uh, I wish I could remember the little, uh, I spent the round, shot the chick in the breast. Hit it with uh, open the briefcases, nothing but Franklin faces. The, the, the alarm systems. That's when other cats start slipping. Time for us to get to dipping. It, like, it, it's it's the, the way he flows is a lot more. It's like cursive writing versus regular penmanship. So yeah, man, nah. True. It's like a Scorsese movie. When I first heard it. Um, mm. Niggas bleed. It was the other one. Um, today's agenda got a suitcase. suitcase that is niggas. Centra. So go it, to one twelve. Tell them Blanco just... Centra. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, it was crazy. Oh, it come gave on, man. First, Chills. I first time I heard. Chills. And and again, I'm not a West Coast dude. So maybe for me, if I was a West Coast dude, born and bred, that West Coast sound feel would have meant more to me. But I just, I, I, it, I, I couldn't relate. I just couldn't relate. 